Greetings, dear friends. I present your attention on the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Audi 100 C4. In terms of wear and tear, the transmission is a traditional weak point, one of the elements, the maintenance of which is based on the leftover attribute. H is capable of throwing up various tricks, ranging from the misalignment of the front and rear subframes on all-wheel drive cars and any with the inconsistency of the CV joints. That is when, say, there is a tri tripod on one side and not on the other. Or in general, the entire axle shaft is adapted from a completely different machine, for example, from the older C3 or a more recent C5. And of course, the oil in these gearboxes can be absent, or mostly consist of water, and the bearing can be either simply worn out or dissolved in this hellish mixture. In general, there are options. Among them, not the worst is when only there is only natural wear and tear and small leaks of the manual transmission through the oil seal of the shift mechanism. It is not known for certain it is not known for certain how many percent of the cars in the population are in a similar average condition, but most likely not less than half. Four-wheel drive vehicles have many difficulties with a set of interlocks. They have electro-pneumatically actuated, and leaks and short circuits in the system can lead to accelerated wear of the transmission and poor controllability. Unfortunately, from very unpleasant age-related surprises, one can find corrosion of the shafts in the places where the oil seals are installed, completely worn out splines, backlash of the constant velocity joint in a quarter of a turn, broken seats of the units of the subframes and the body. While the manual transmission can be worn out to zero, starting from the banal wear of synchronizers and couplings and cracks in the housing. Surprisingly enough, many cars with automatic transmissions have survived in the population, and the boxes can be very alive. In practice, there are two options. With V6 engines, a box made by ZF for HP 18FL series was installed. These boxes are as simple as possible, the control system is almost completely hydromechanical. A resource of 300-400 km, and usually it is enough to replace worn rubber parts. Check the oil pump for wear on bushings and oil seals. Check the piston D for cracks. And can be assembled, at least half of this run will pass. Unfortunately, there is often nothing to restore. The ability of the box to drive to the last with pumps and jerks leads to the fact that an assembly comes for repair, which not only has worn out the entire package of clutches and seals, but also killed planetary gears, housing, oil pump and gas turbine engine. Do not delay the repair if the automatic transmission twitches or not very adequately selects the gears, often cleaning the weld body, restoring the setting or restoring the wiring is enough. And of course, change the oil every 30-50,000 km, especially since this automatic transmission is excellent for the simple and cheap Dextron 3. Often, instead of repairing the 4GP for HP18, a non-constructural unit is installed, which simply cannot be found because in the longitudinal body it was installed only on Audi for a short time, but its successor in the person of 5HP19. Fortunately, there are variants of this automatic transmission with system control unit CAN, but, but for example, CJP, CJV, DCS, and the 5-speed gearbox noticeably improves dynamics and economy. With motors 2.0 and 2.3, a Volkswagen unit of the 01N-097 series is already installed. Such a box is found much more often, and in the event of complete death it's not so difficult to find a living contract copy, and newer copies are mechanically compatible with older ones. The box is also quite strong, the resource with timely maintenance is about 250-300,000 km. The well body, which is prone to dirt and the abundance of plastic in the design of the mechanics, bringing it down, as a result of which the box is very sensitive to overheating. The main resource problems are the wear of the torque converter lockup linings, followed by contamination of the box with wear products and the adhesive layer of fastening, contamination of the weld body and electrical failures. The version that was installed on the Audi 100 is distinguished by very reliable solenoids, except that the blocking solenoid of the gas turbine engine wears out early and a low dependence on control electronics but the weld body requires preventative cleaning even if the oil change intervals are observed. The design features of the Audi 100 make the cooling system extremely compact and vulnerable to contamination, and since original spare parts for the cooling system are expensive, leaks and pollution often follow the C4. Most of the cars need urgent replacement of the main radiator, stove radiators, replacement of parts of hoses, and sometimes the pump. This is not to mention replacing antifreeze and deck scaling system. The wear of electric fans and viscous couplings is usually extreme. The operation of the motor sensors is unsatisfactory. Not only temperature sensor fails, but also all pressure sensors, as well as all sensors of the engine control system. With all this, the maintainability of motors and attachments is amazing. Everything is really well accessible, simply arranged and reliable. 
Almost any element in the engine compartment can be removed and checked without straining, from the heater fan to the motor itself. Unless the replacement of the timing belt and in general access to the front engine cover require the front panel to be moved to the service position or removed, which is typical for Audi cars until now. But the overall wear is against extreme. The buyer of an old Audi 100 should prepare to replace literally everything, from engine mounts and wiring to attachments. The engine compartment filled with oil is not the worst option, in any case, the anti corrosive turns out to be quite good. True, the plastic of the expansion tank, wiring and connectors are destroyed faster in this case. 2 liter inline fours with 8 valves are considered the simplest and most reliable engines. And deservedly so. Mono injection AAE and multi-point injection options WAD and ABK are as simple and cheap to maintain as possible. Moreover, the single injection inje engine now looks even more interesting. The injection system is extremely simple and hardly needs improvement, but the WAD with its KE Motronic is rather weak, and the control system is very problematic. But on AB key, the Digifant injection is relatively moderate and much more reliable. Distributed continuous injection key e G-tronic, key e motronic the traditional scarecrow of this machine. It is found not only at 2.0 but also with the most common AAR 2.3 engine. A very reliable electro-hydraulic system with the simplest flow matter, the so-called shovel, turned out to be demanding on the quality of the fuel, but the first 10 years of the life of the machines usually worked well. Nowadays it is difficult to find a completely serviceable system. Usually there are poor starts up, even uneven idling, insufficient traction in various modes and especially when changing them. While fuel consumption is often greatly increased. Electronic injection digifan on the ABK motor is also not a gift. There is almost no diagnostics, control units are rare, like many elements. The flow meter is also a shovel, only with potential matters. There is an ignition distributor in many other wear parts, such as high voltage wires and a throttle position sensor. In general, the age of the system is also capricious, however, it self regulates and is diagnosed somehow in contrast to mechanical jetronic. Of course, a lot is being repaired, but screwed on flow meters and Chinese sensors work wonders. It will be difficult to restore operability if it is unknown what has failed and it is not known when. In general, already on the example of three types of 2-liter engines, one can understand the list of problems that the owners of the Audi 100 face. There are solutions, but sometimes they are very expensive and not obvious. And again, we need specialists with a narrow profile who are more and more difficult to find. The state of the motors for iron is also far from ideal. Scale and the cooling system, worn piston group, leaks, faulty ventilation system, dead hydraulic lifters, old pump and much more, up to the seats of shafts and hydraulic lifters. Often the timing belt is made up of used parts with an incomprehensible resource, and surprises can be expected at any time. Do not be surprised if you find a Solix carburetor along with LPG under the hood. Collector farming is flourishing, especially in the outback. Moreover, almost no <coughs> alternations are needed. I put the intake manifold from older versions of the engine, and now Audi is already perfectly cutting through the streets on the original center. Better than a stationary car anyway. 2 liter engine with 16 valves of the AC series, oddly enough, it is considered unsuccessful. Apparently, because its key Mutronic control system is little more complicated than Detronic and is less replaceable. Anyway, the carburetor doesn't change so easily. And the mechanical part of the 16 valve engine is much more complicated. There is a combined timing belt with a belt and a chain. The belt bends when it breaks, and the engine itself ta takes up noticeably more space in the engine compartment and is more demanding on maintenance. The 2.3 AAR engine has 5 cylinders and a already familiar key E Deutronic injection. This is the most common motor in the wavy and for good reason. With it, the car is noticeably more cheerful than with a 2 liter, and at the same time, it is cheaper to maintain than with a V6. If we leave out of the brackets, the Gtronic Adventures describe about then the motor is almost problem free. The hardware is excellent with a very good margin of safety. Fortunately, on this log and the crankshaft, the famous supercharged inline fives, which were on the quadro cope and which can be found under the hood of Audi 100 S4, are made. But the list of problems is about the same as that of the straight force, H, you know. Take all of the above and add. The risk of cracks between the cylinders is increased, the bevel is very thin. Quite often, V6 engines of the ABC and AAH series are also found. These are 12 valves engines with a volume of 2.6 and 2.8 liters. Against the backdrop of the problems of inline motors, they look almost perfect. The injection system is without flow matters, and the resource of the hardware is even greater than that of the rovers. 
of the features great sensitivity to overheating. They often lead to slender head and exhaust manifolds, and burnout of the saddle often happens for this very reason. The resource of the rollers and the pump is relatively small, and it is highly recommended to change them every 60,000 km. The resource of the piston group is not higher than that of five cylinder engines, about 300,000 before overhaul, and the old scrapper wings are cocked very easily. All leaks from the sump gasket are practically impossible to defeat if you do not change the crankcase ventilation system and put everything you can on an anaerobic sealant. By the way, it is recommended to change the front cover oil seals every time you replace the timing and choose the highest quality options. If it comes to serious repairs, then contract blocks are available and motors with 30 valve cylinder heads of structurally similar series have been installed on all the Volkswagen cars for a very long time, and there are no problems with spare parts for the V6. Of the diesel engines, there are mainly 2.5 liter inline fives of the APB series, less often double AT, and practice shows that these are very reliable diesels. Only now their runs are usually huge. The wear of the cylinder head and fuel equipment ultimately makes the re their restoration unprofitable. At the same time, the resource of the turbine is more than sufficient, it often outlives the motor itself. The main troubles are still associated with fuel equipment and age, and when trying to tighten the turbine, the pistons are quickly destroyed, unable to withstand overheating. With all this, you can find such engines with a range of 400,000 km in a completely alive state. In Russia, this is not the most popular option, cars with it are rare, but in neighboring Belarus, diesel all-wheel drive station wagons are in high esteem. They love heavy fuel engines and know how to service them. On this information, well, the problems of Audi 100 C4 is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.